Good night. Good night. Goodbye, Lulu. Good boy. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that cute little face? Hmm? Who's that? Is that mommy's little boy, Boon Boon? Hi, everyone. Hi. Is that Boon Boon? Boon Boon. Good boy. Good boy. Boon Boon. Boon Boon. Okay, rồi. Xong ha. Okay. Hi, everyone. So, um... Today I'm going to do a video of how I style my hair. Um, a lot of people message me and ask me, Kelly, um, how to use the hot rollers. So today I'm going to show you in slow motion of how to use the hot rollers. And uh, those of you who know how to do this, um, by all means, um, don't watch the video uh, if you already know it. But this is going to be a very, very... Um, basic step-by-step -step, uh, on how you will do your hot rollers so just give me one second i'm going to show you um before i do that i'm just going to put something on my lips because it's so dry um one second so even though it's march it is uh still cold so this is one of my favorite uh, lip moisturizer okay so those of you who want to have soft lips and you don't want to use chapsticks, I find chapstick is the worst lips uh, um, moisturizer. It, it leaves like a white residue here and it feels not comfortable on the lips. But this is absolutely amazing. Um, it actually says ornament for cuts and burn and um, Minor cuts and burns relieves chapped, cracked skin, helps smooth dry skin. So even though it says all that, it has nothing related to lips, but I use this for my lips and I absolutely love it. So both men and women, um, if you try everything out there, which I have, and you don't like anything on your lips that feel uncomfortable, this is a really good um, lip. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I style my hair. So first, you need to brush your hair. Do not style your hair or flat iron your hair when your hair is tangled because you are basically putting heat um, onto hair that is being being like matted, which is going to cause breakage. So this is how my hair disgustingly look after I shower. Um, this is me just letting it air dry. So how I dry my hair is not using a blow dryer because it's just holding the blow dryer in a round brush and it takes forever. So this is what I use. So this is a heater um, and it blows air. So there's air coming out of this with heat. It also have a fan as well. So I got this from Amazon and after I wash my hair, I put uh, leave-in conditioner in it I brush it out and then I sit right in front of this. So while this is blowing air uh, and drying my hair, uh, I'm replying my email, um, doing work on my phone. So it's really saving time. So those of you who have hair that you don't want to have to stand there and blow dry your hair dry, get yourself one of this little guy from Amazon and it's like a hair blow dryer to dry your hair. Super awesome. So that's what I use. So I just sit in front of this and then dry my hair out. Now I'm going to show you how I will style it. So first I'm going to part the hair like this. And you can do it whichever way you want. This is just, oh by the way, let me show you my hair. So this is my hair uh, when I don't style it. You can see how dry it looks, how frizzy it looks because this is um, me coloring my hair and those of you who color your hair you definitely understand this uh, situation so it looks dry it's not dry it's just it looks dry right and if you leave it like this your hair looks very frizzy so what I do is I put them in hot rollers so these are the hot rollers that I use and I'm gonna part my hair like this 
Oh, forgot. Before you style your hair, you gotta brush your hair. This is the best brush on the planet, guys. Okay. Um, okay. I'll tell. I'll get back to the brush. So just let me. Um, so when you brush your hair, you hold your hair from the bottom and you brush from bottom up. So meaning from the bottom and then brush to the top. Okay. Please don't start your hair from top to bottom because if your hair is tangled here, you're going to put a lot of pressure onto your roots and that's how you break your hair. So how I brush my hair is from the bottom and then work my way to the top. Okay? So once you brush your hair out, okay, you are going to suction your hair. So let's say I want my fringe to fall like that. Cut your hair in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now I'm going to section the crown area because I want to have some volume there. And also the fact I have a bit of a fringe. So I want to do like a roller there so that it can give me some volume. So just randomly section. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now you are going to take your hot rollers. Pull it all the way to the ends like this. Okay. Smooth out the ends of the hair. Roll the ends of the hair into the rollers. And then you are just going to roll it down like this. Try to uh, use your hand to kind of like keep the hair inside the rollers. If you're having a hard time doing this and it's not staying in the rollers, then uh, take, take, take less hair. So I got the first one done with this. Now I'm going to do my side. Okay. So comb everything up. I'm going to section out my hair right here because I have some sort of like a curtain bangs going on here. So I'm going to section that out separately. Okay. Get yourself this opposite side. Okay. Roll the ends of the hair into the roller. Okay. And then roll the hair down like this. And get a clip. So we're going to deal with the front later. Um, mấy các bạn theo ly đang chỉ cắt step by step để các bạn quấn tóc nha. Có rất là nhiều bạn hỏi Kelly làm sao mà quấn tóc thì đây Kelly xin chia sẻ. À, những cái hot rollers này nó đã được heated up và nó là felt chứ không phải là metal. So therefore the felt does not harm the hair as much as the middle. So for the bottom one, roll, tuck the ends of the hair inside like this, and then roll up. Okay? And then clip. So I'm going to do this, like this, over to the side. So honestly guys, it doesn't have to be perfect sectioning. Just as long as you get the sectioning um, into like small parts so that you can roll it easier. And then from here, I'm just going to comb out my curtain bangs. Okay, same thing. This will take you a bit of practice, but I promise after eight times doing it, you will master it. So if you have layers like me and you have these piece sticking out, just try to hold them, tuck them in, and roll. So when you tuck them in and roll, the new part that's being rolled is going to cover that 
so that you don't have those layered end pieces sticking out. Now, this is my back section. Hold to the end like this. Wrap the ends of the hair around the rollers, trying to tuck them in, and then just roll up like this. So make sure all the ends of the hair are tucked in. Okay? Because it's the end of the hair that you want to set. Because those are the ones that are frizzy and flyaways. Now we're going to deal with the front. So, you see I have like a curtain bang going on and right now it's very flat. So doing it like this will definitely give it a lot more volume. And notice how frizzy it is right now. It's going to look very nice when I finish using the hot rollers. So, wrap the ends of the hair, okay, like this. Tuck the ends of the hair inside, like that. Use the clip, clip. Now, it's going to be hot here, so this is my half. When it's hot, just get some paper and place it like this, so that the hot rollers is not touching your forehead. It doesn't get hot. Now for the sides, I'm going to also do the rollers. Okay. Even though it's short, but it can still fit in. So pay attention that, see how flat this look? It's going to look very nice and uh, more volume when I take it out. See? Okay? Now this. Wrap it around. Tuck the ends. So this is going to lift two of my sides and just give it a bit more volume. So, <laughs> it looks funny right now but it's gonna look great when I'm done so this is how my hair looks when I put in the hot rollers so I'm just gonna time my phone to five minutes okay so the timer see five minutes and then I'll take it out So the front one, um, you don't have to leave it too long because it is going to um, set very quickly. So when you take it out, you're going to see how much smoother the hair is. And this is how I get my um, hair to have more movement and volume. Okay. Uh, the two sides should be good now. So I usually don't leave the two sides in for too long. You can see already that, um, see how it has more volume? So it's going to be a little tricky for you if you have a lot of layers in your hair. But like I said, if you patiently practice on how to do this, um, it'll get easier. Okay? I always say don't give up on doing anything until you've done it eight times. After eight times, if you still don't like it, then you can stop doing it. But um, give yourself... Uh, that practice because after eight times of practicing something you get pretty good at it so I'm just gonna let these set while I'm doing that I'm gonna explain to you about the brush so um, không phải cái lượt nào cũng giống cái lượt nào như các bạn nó giống như là nhiều lúc mình cứ nghĩ rằng ok uh, có cái này mình mua cái khác thì nó cũng giống cái này thôi và xài cũng được như vậy nhưng mà thật sự là không 
cả những gì trên thế gian này đối với Kelly á, là khi mà Kelly thấy ai đã xài cái hiệu đó cái lượt đó hay là bất cứ cái gì đó mà Kelly thấy mà họ xài thấy tốt thì Kelly cố gắng làm sao mà mua y chang như vậy tại vì à, họ xài như thế đó thì mình xài cái đó mình mới biết được cái hiệu quả đúng hay không chứ nếu mà Kelly thấy người ta xài cái lượt này và Kelly cũng thấy cái gì tương tự như cái này Kelly đi mua cái giống như thế này mà không phải cái hiệu này và cũng không phải cái chất liệu này và cái chỗ làm ra cái này thì nó không phải là cái lượt này cho nên Kelly đã mua rất là nhiều lần uh, những cái hiệu khác nhưng mà nó không bằng cái hiệu Babyless uh, TV tại vì cái này á, Kelly không biết how they make this like I honestly don't know you know what is so you know technically great about this brush but this is absolutely the best detangling brush I have ever used in my life you know and I'm a hairstylist okay and I've used every brushes out there and right now they don't make these okay and um, so they're back order they don't have enough supply so I try to order this and since I can't I try to order something similar to it but even when you order something that looks exactly like this the same pattern you know like the size the same it is not the same brush and I have tried other brands that try to make this brush and it's not the same result so I swear that um, you need to use this exact brand exact style exact make exact made to really feel why it's the best brush so the brush the bristles here it has like a short and a long one and somehow it's designed okay with this kind of flex that helps to detangle any type of tangle hair i've used this for super curly hair straight hair thick hair extensions especially hair extensions if you are wearing hair extensions and you need to get the best brush for hair extensions when you have it in like for a couple of months this detangle right close to the roots so that you prevent your hair extension from getting matted so best brush ever um, my boss sell this Vince sell this at the our salon so you can check with us if we have any order coming in but honestly like out of my 41 years of being alive on this planet I have not used the brush that detangles well, lightweight, and as good as this one. Highly recommended. So um, I have one minute left. Well, one second left. So I left this on for five minutes, okay? And you saw my hair, how it was before I put the rollers. Now I'm going to show you how it looks after. So after now I left it for five minutes just because I just want to prove a point um, you know the minimum time should be setting these is five minutes Nam phút là đủ các bạn nhưng mà if you are at home and you're not going anywhere you know you can just leave this in until you go out so that it can set longer so the longer you have it in the better it sets and again it depends on different hair type if you have coarser hair more thicker hair then you want to keep it longer but since my hair is chemically treated and it is porous um, I don't need to leave it for too long okay so you can see the difference it made in my hair see how much more smoother my hair looks okay see and this is all I do guys like um, today I don't have my extensions in I took my extensions out um, I'm getting them done this week redo because I had to uh, do my roots so that's why um, I took my hair extensions out so I can touch up my color but I will be putting my hair extensions in so my hair grew long um, but it's not as thick as I want it so um, so whether I have hair extensions or I don't have hair extensions, this is the best um, hair styling uh, setting that you know I've ever used. 
I've used I use this for all of my clients when they want like a nice blowout um, because some hair no matter how much you blow dry it doesn't set but for my clients I let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes just so that it lasts for a long time but um, just five minutes I just show you it definitely uh, works so keep in mind it's not meant for super super curly hair you have to have your hair smoothed out so in my case before I put this in you saw that my hair was fairly straight but it was just frizzy so that's my Asian hair I have straight hair so if you have my similar type of hair especially hair that has been bleached or enlightened or over processed and you cannot use any flat iron or any blow dry on it because it's just gonna break this is a great alternative for you to get beautiful hair uh, without uh, damaging your hair even more so grab yourself some hot rollers if that is the case but um, this works for you know regular hair as well um, now it's not gonna work for your hair if your hair is super curly if your hair is wavy and you don't smooth it out first before you use this this can only work on hair that is, has been smoothed out by a you know a paddle brush and a blow dry if you flat iron your hair and then you come in and use this it will not take because the flat iron has smoothed and straightened your hair um, and your cuticle that this will not be strong enough to redo it okay so a flat iron effect is very straight and the bond is set so therefore it will not take the hot rollers you would have to re-wet the hair and blow dry out with a paddle brush or a smoothing brush to actually use this and it work but if you have hair like me who is fairly straight or just a little bit wavy and um, is pretty much smooth out but you just want to have that nice polish shine um, finish effect then the hot rollers will work for you okay I think that's all the questions that were asked of me regarding hot rollers if you have any other questions Feel free to leave a comment below and I can uh, answer more. But um, the difference between the Babyliss Nano Titanium, so Babyliss is the brand of the rollers that I'm using. It comes with the clips. My boss, Vinci, sells this at the salon if you want to order them. But um, the fabric is made by felt, so it smooths the hair very well and it's not direct metal contact to your hair so it doesn't dry up your hair like if you were to use a curling iron or a flat iron okay so if you have over processed hair highlighted hair damaged hair fragile hair that you want to look good but you can't use a flat iron you don't want to use a curling iron anymore and you don't want to use a round brush and a blow dryer because it's too much work then try to learn how to use the hot rollers like i just did on my hair phenomenal it works it holds and it's less damaging a lot for the hair this is like you know the best hair styling tools that i've been using for like i don't know 15 years on my clients i don't know why other stylists don't use this or you know this is not like um uh you know more um, shared so that clients can do this at home so let's say if a client come into the salon and she want to have a nice smooth out hair style like mine what I would do is she comes in with dirty hair I will wash her hair meaning I will shampoo her then I'll condition her and then I tile dry her then I'll spray the leave-in spray heat protector on her hair then I would blow dry it uh, with a flat brush just to smooth it out or you know just you know strain it out as much as I can with a paddle brush and a blow dryer not a flat iron then after she's a hundred percent dry and it has to be a hundred percent dry if it's still damp in the hair the rollers will not take okay um, if you roll your hair with the hot rollers and you're like Kelly it's not holding it's not um, you know staying number one is it completely dry if it's not dry it'll bounce back to its original form so it has to be completely dry hair for it to take okay 
So I would dry my client with a paddle brush just to smooth it out and her hair and would look frizzy like how my hair was at the beginning. And then after that, I put her in as much rollers as needed, um, usually six or eight, depending on how much her hair is. And then I would let her sit to set for about 15 minutes, maximum 20, minimum five, okay? And then she set, when she's finished, if I don't have to use product, then I, you know, don't. Just like me right now, all I do is I will take her hair, I will hold it together like this, and this is my way of smoothing out her hair. Because I already put a heat protector and product in her hair when I, uh, before I uh, put the hot rollers in. So she does have some sort of product in her hair already. So after she's finished, I just take her hair and I just go like this. See? I just do this just to smooth the hair, helping the cuticle of the hair to lie more flat. See? And then that's it. Okay? And that's enough for it to um, uh, smooth. And then when you let it out, you see all the layers of the hair. I usually use a mirror to check how my hair looks after it's done. And that is how my hair looks. Okay? And that is just me leaving it on for five minutes. Okay? If you leave it on longer, you're going to get more uh, curls on the ends. But I just want to show you how it looks if you just did it for five minutes. And this is the before and after of how my hair was before I use the hot rollers. See? Super easy. Um, lasts me all day. Okay? And that's all I do. And it shows all the layers in my hair. Whereas when it was frizzy, um, after it was dried, you can't really see the style. So that is pretty much all I do to my hair. Now, another trick, if you want it to last longer, um, you can put it in a stick, okay? So um, if you know that your hair is like resistant and it doesn't hold a style, what I do is, sorry, what I do, I put the hair up like this, so this is called setting the hair um, because by me um, wrapping it, it will help to keep the ends of the hair curled. So usually rather than you just putting it in a ponytail with a, let's see where's the ponytail. So I know people use clips like this or ponytails like this. To tie your hair but because you're using um, the ponytail like this it doesn't do anything to the ends of your hair it actually strain it out your point is you want to keep the ends curled so that it looks nice and it lasts long so I don't like to put it in a ponytail what I do is I take out my curtain bangs okay I put the hair high up like this now, please watch slowly or uh, do this with me if you can so that you um, get uh, the idea of how to do this. Hold your hair like this. Wrap your hair ends around. Okay, see that? Wrap it around. All the way around until you finish the ends like this, then tuck the ends right here, see? Tuck the ends right here, inside. Then you can get a pen or a stick of anything, okay? Go in, touch your scalp, go over, and then just wiggle your bun so that it holds the stick, like that. 
And then with these, I'm just going to hold because I want to keep this curl as well. So I hold it up and I just wrap, see, the ends inside there. And then I just fix. And that is how I style my hair when I'm at work, um, just to um, keep the hair in shape. So you can either use a dangly thing like this for decorations, or you can just use a regular pencil, which I don't have. Any type of stick that will hold the hair. And if you set it like this, for the whole day um, when you take it out your hair will stay curled because by you wrapping it like this it's very similar that you're doing this now if you ask me Kelly why don't you just do this and not do this yes uh, you can do that if you are in a place that you don't have hot rollers but it's not gonna be the same effect because my hair is so frizzy um, it needs a bit of heat um, to help it and because these hot rollers can be heated up by me setting it with heat it helps my hair to smooth longer if I just do it like this when it's dry and not and skip this it will just make my hair look like um, it's not the same like you, you try it one day try it one day with the hot rollers and then do this and then try it without the hot rollers and then do this and then you will see of the different I can't really explain it but uh, my hair looks better after I set up with the hot rollers and then I can continue to keep the shape and the style in a bun like this okay um, so try it on yourself both ways and see which way fits you best because everyone is different right so um, that is my suggestions and that is how I do my hair very easy um, if I'm working at the salon or if you're a nail technicians and you know you have to put your hair up all the time or um, whatever your profession is and you need to have your hair out of your face rather than put it in like um, like a ponytail or a clip it just flattens the, uh, the hair put it in a bun like this so that the hair is lifted and because it's lifted it gives the volume in the root so when I let this down the hair is gonna look very nice and voluminous okay see just simple how I look at the back wear this all day and when you let it down all you have to do is take this out here see take it out and you can just Vision because the hair is wrapped around like this when you let it down it's volume and it still has its curl see ta-da <laughs> and that is as simple as it is so I do this every time I uh, wash my hair and uh, it lasts me until the next day so I just uh, touch up my color I went for more of like it's actually lighter in the daylight it's this is not like a the best lighting that I have right now so you can't really see the true color of my uh, color but I did some money pieces more lighter at the front and then I have a little bit darker at the back so my hair looks darker now because um, I haven't put in my hair extensions but look at my hair today okay so today is what March 19th uh, you're gonna see how my hair looks right now okay and I will be putting my hair extensions in uh this week and i'll do another video again so you can see um that the hair extensions that i put in my hair is not just for length but it's also for light 
because my hair is so fragile now, fragile now that if I start, you know, enlightening it, enlightening it or bleaching it out, um, it will break a lot. So I can only do just a little bit of highlighting for the summer and then the rest I will put hair extensions in. So look at my hair in this video today and I will do another video when my hair is um, finished with hair extensions and you can see the big difference that it makes in my hair. But regardless, um, the hot rollers works on both my real hair and my hair extensions. So there you go. And that is how I set my hair in hot rollers. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I will try to do a lot more hair videos um, whenever I can. It's just, it's getting busy for me because we're going into um, uh, spring seasons and um, I'm part of uh, two organizations. Uh, one is Better Futures for Kids Foundation, which is the um, charity, charitable organization of Canada, registered with Canada that I am involved in. And uh, the other one is Aozai Canada, which, which is a nonprofit organization. And both Aozai Canada and Better Future for Kids is organizing the Taste of Vietnam Festival. So um, each year in the summer, uh, we have a beautiful Vietnamese and friends um, cultural and food festival down at City Hall, Toronto, Nathan Phillips Square. And this year, our festival is july 25th 26th and 27th and our theme this year is the wedding theme uh the big fat vietnamese wedding three days of wedding festival so imagine you going to a food and cultural festival but it's a vietnamese wedding uh theme so even though you're going to a festival um eating and hanging out but you can dress up this year like you're going to a wedding there'll be so many attractions so many photo booths and so many beautiful decorations of the vietnamese culture that you can take photos do vlogs um do selfies with your friends we also have a costume booth uh, of the vietnamese traditional costumes of the 54 different ethnic groups that you can rent um to wear and take photos and you know just experiencing the vietnamese culture and its food and friends so friends here is like we also welcome other communities of southeast asia any community to join our festival but it's still mainly the taste of vietnam but uh this year our, our theme is the wedding theme and there's so much um lovey-dovey so much fun love things activities that's happening this year so make sure you follow the taste of vietnam toronto which is our official uh facebook page and our taste of vietnam toronto instagram and our website tasteofvietnam.org for more information there's going to be singing contests dancing contests outside contests um there's going to be uh matchmake taste of vietnam matchmaker uh game that you get to meet you know, singles get to meet and they meet each other at the festival. So there's a lot of activities that the organizer is doing this year that I think is absolutely amazing. And with the theme wedding that we're doing, it's a very good theme to promote local business, especially after the pandemic, um, after COVID, a lot of business in Toronto or in our city struggle. So, you know, the Taste Vietnam last year had over 60, uh, thousand attendees in three days this year our target attendees is uh, over 70,000 people for three days 25th 26th and 27th of July so um, it's great for us to promote our vendors um, promote our local business promote any services that can be related to weddings you know like anything like bakery makeup hair bridal shop uh, restaurants, uh, forests, anything can be a wedding. You know, even real estate, you know, when people get married, they have to buy a house. Even a mortgage agent, agent because after they get married, they have to borrow a mortgage to buy a house. So
So it's a very um, good theme that can suit anyone, any business to be part of the festival. And what is proud about the Taste of Vietnam is that all of our volunteers, all of our participants, all of our vendors, all of our sponsors, each and every one who helped us to put on this festival for our city, um, we're all standing together to be a voice against human trafficking and child exploitation. So it's not just a fun festival or a food uh, hangout place that you go just like every other festival, but it has a mission, it has a message. And we are two nonprofit uh, charitable organization. Um, so therefore it's, it's not about just having fun, but it's also having a social conscience which is raising awareness against human trafficking and child exploitation within our city, our country, and the world. So um, I hope to see you there. Please save the date and, um, you know, come out, support the cause. And if you're a student, a vendor, a business person, a performer, a dancer, or anybody, you know, and you want to be a part of Taste of Vietnam Festival, please contact us. Um, we're happy to connect with everyone because this is not a corporation festival. It's not a money-making festival or a business festival. It's a festival of the community. It's for the community and it's to raise awareness against human trafficking for the community. So, um, especially with parents, if you have kids who are teenagers, you know, you want them to get out there, um, interact, socialize, learn, um, this is a great opportunity and we create a safe environment um, for our children to learn and get their community hours so that they can finish their high school. So um, reach out to us. Um, again, tasteofvietnam.org for the website. Uh, Instagram and Facebook is Taste of Vietnam Toronto and we love to hear from you. So again, thank you so much for watching my hair tutorial video. Um, I will post this on YouTube as well um, if you want to share it with friends and just let them know that they can get beautiful looking hair every day just by five minutes using the hot rollers. All right everyone have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, God bless you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.